Park Plus has been utilized a couple different ways. We have really uh, engaged with Kimley Horn as our consultant, of course, um, utilizing the model to take a look at all of our data, our multimodal splits, um, our parking transportation utilization as a whole. And it's been able to really give us some really good information data-wise in order to have good discussions with our administration about our parking program and just overall access management. So it's already been a tremendous tool for us. We had a huge project, uh, a brand new building that was coming on campus, so it was a significant tool then for us. We were able to put all of our data into the model uh, and come up with a scenario that really led us to not build a parking structure. So again, really significant. Having that information and being able to utilize the tool in that way really got us at the table with a lot of our different administrators. And since then, since that project and that introduction of, of Park Plus for us, um, and when I say us, I mean our parking team, being able to be heard and having that seat at the table. Since that time, we were able to, and we are invited often now to provide information, data, model, um, different scenarios on campus based on all of the development that is occurring. Having our consultant who is our consultant being able to provide all those inputs and get a very quick uh, scenario run back to us, the feedback, um, that kind of expeditious way of getting the information has been really critical, really key. Well, at ASU we have four campuses and a lot of the development is happening across all four campuses, but significantly at Tempe and downtown. Downtown being a much more urban area, um, we have little opportunity or limited opportunity in terms of parking and ownership of land and things like that. We've been able to come up with a site where we have a potential opportunity for a parking structure. Um, I think there needs to be some steps further that we, we need to take in order to get really good information for the long-term campus planning, but it's giving us a really good picture of what we need and what we don't need. Um, what other opportunities within the city and partnering with uh, other city um, operators, if you will, to get us through um, a certain period of time here in this next, let's say, three to five years. It allows the, the decision makers at the top level of our university to have information that that a lot of times changes. So month to month we might have a plan in place but then something new comes, comes about. So being able to respond quickly with parking data, parking program information um, has been really key. Absolutely, especially um, universities, organizations across the country that are looking at, again, long-term development, even short-term development. The tool is going to be able to provide them with uh, a good look, a good vision, uh, again, of right-sizing their uh, parking transportation needs. So anybody who's, even right now, if you're not doing anything, um, actually now's the better time to embark on that. Um, so it's not in a hurry, but being able to assemble, collect all of your data, and just see where things are at, um, use, utilizing the tool. Where is your current system at? What opportunities do you have now in terms of looking at pricing or getting ready for um, price adjustments or utilization, uh, your utilization needs in the long term. So it's a fantastic tool and I honestly can't think of not having it as, as a part of our, um, our toolkit for campus master planning. I would say that somebody having the GIS ARC, which most of us don't, you know, we're, we're operators, we're running our day-to-day -day operation, but having that kind of a background in, in technology, um, also being able to be very proficient with Excel um, and whatever database that you are utilizing to obtain and organize your data. Those are all kind of key tools. Um, the better output we get from our existing program, better data that we put into the model, then the better output we get from the model. I can't see us not having this tool. I go back to just a few years prior to, to us using this, and I can't imagine not having this tool now, especially as far into campus master planning, a lot of the things that we're doing. So again, we are looked at the parking department, we're looked at um, uh, professionally, being able to provide good data, good information, and this tool has really enabled us to do that. So again, I, I would encourage anybody who's considering it um, or looking for a tool that will help them along those lines that the Park Plus model is, is pretty much the only thing out there that we've found to help guide us um, again with our master planning efforts with respect to access and parking transportation management.